In this video, you will understand about what is user managed backup. What do we mean by a user managed backup? When you don't use Armin to do backup, but instead you want to take backups at the OS level or you want to use a third party tool to do backups, this is what is going to happen. Number one, there's always the question about whether your database is in archive log mode or no archive log mode. If your database is in no archive log mode, then the only option you have is offline backups or cold backups or consistent backup. You would have to shut down the database and make a copy of all your database related files, which includes data files, control files and read log files. How do you know where are these files located? The simplest way to identify it is to look at the views v$ control file for the location of the control files, v$ data file to look at the location of the data files and v$ log file to look at the location of the log files or read log files. Once you have taken a backup, then you can start up the database and whenever you encounter a problem, the only choice you have is delete the database as it exists and restore the entire backup data file, control file, read log files as they existed, restore them and bring up the database. But all the data that was entered since the time you took the backup to the time when you deleted the data files are all lost. This is an inherent problem with databases in no archive log mode. So generally production databases or databases where the data is important will never be in no archive log mode you will put them in archive log mode. I will have another video in which I'll tell you how do you put a database in archive log mode. Assuming you have a database in archive log mode, you still go and look at what are the data files, what are the control files from v$ data file and v$ control file, but you don't take a backup of read log files for a database which is in archive log mode. Because the moment you put your database in archive log mode, Every time a read log file undergoes a switch, the last group will be archived to the destination which you specify. When you are having your database in archive log mode, you can do both kinds of backup. You can do a consistent backup wherein you shut down the database and backup all files, but you don't want a downtime to do that. So you could do an inconsistent backup or an online backup or a hot backup where you take the backup when the database is running. So how do you go about taking an online backup? You can take a backup of the entire database or you can take a backup of a particular table space or a set of table spaces only or a particular data file or a set of data files only. Whichever backup you're going to do, you need to put the database. If you're doing a database level backup, you issue the command alter database begin backup. So you put the database in begin backup mode or you alter the table space to be in begin backup mode or you put the data file in begin backup mode. Once you issue the command, then at the OS level, you copy the files. What you need to remember is when a database or a table space is in begin backup mode, there is going to be additional redo generated to take care of fractured blocks. What is a fractured block? When a backup is being done, when a block is being copied, there is a high likelihood the same block is being written to by DB writer. So it may not be able to write. What the database does is it keeps a copy of the block in redo so that the archive log file will have the actual copy of the block in it. And later on, when you do a restoration and when you're recovering it, it can bring back the block. So when you put a table space or database in begin backup mode, there is additional redo generated. You initiate the backup at the OS level and once the copy of the file is done, you end backup. You complete the begin backup mode with an end backup mode and thereby hereafter additional redo will not be generated to keep copies of blocks which are changing and your backup is done. Irrespective of whether you did at a database level, table space level or data file level, begin backup and end backup are two commands that have to be done during which time only a backup can be fired. So that's the way you manage backups in user managed mode or OS managed mode or a third party mode. Generally, an Oracle database is backed up using Armin. 
in the remaining set of videos that come up in this playlist you will learn how to use Armin as a utility to create backups and restore them.